Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today I'm going to show you how to achieve an iOS 7 untethered jailbreak on your iPhone 5s, your iPhone 4s, your iPad mini, iPad Air, pretty much any device running up to iOS 7.0.4. Now keep in mind, as a disclaimer, I do not recommend that you jailbreak your device right now because there are quite a few bugs with the jailbreak, but if you would like to know how to do it when that is all ready or if you're ready to go right now and you live on the bleeding edge, I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing you want to do here is actually go ahead and make a backup of your device. I highly recommend that you do that. And just in case you ever use the over the air update feature for iOS 7.0.4, you're actually also going to want to restore your device. It's important that you use a fresh install of iOS 7.0.4 through iTunes. So do not use the over the air update. There have been problems reported from users that jailbroke the device without updating through iTunes. Once you meet the requirements for this jailbreak, head over to evasion.com and that's spelled E-V-A-S-I-0-N.com. You can download either the Mac or the Windows tool. In my case, I'm going to be using the Mac tool. So go ahead and click on your download and you will be presented with an opportunity to download the file here, which is actually the jailbreak tool. So go ahead and save that tool to your desktop. Just drag it out there wherever you want and then we are all set up and ready to go. Now, the first thing you want to do here is actually disable your passcode on your iOS device. This is going to be a really important step because it will definitely cause problems if you do not. So go ahead and go into general settings, go to touch ID and passcode or just passcode if you don't have a 5S and turn off your passcode. It's going to be important and crucial that you complete this step in order to jailbreak your iOS 7 device. Once your device is all set up and ready to go, go ahead and launch the Evasion 7 tool. And as you can see, we have our device recognized on the second line. And all you have to do now is click on the jailbreak button and the process will begin. Don't worry, I'm going to go ahead and speed up most of this process for you. It will take you roughly 10 to 15 minutes to complete the jailbreak process. But as you can see, I have it running about six times the speed. So keep that in mind. You're not actually seeing this in real time happening. But there are a few steps that you're going to need to complete, like this one right here. It says to continue, please unlock your device and tap on the Evasion 7 icon. So that's going to be an important step here. Like I said, we want to unlock the device and it's going to be on your far home screen over here and then go ahead and tap on Evasion 7. Now, once you've done that, the phone will actually continue the jailbreak process. It will reboot as you're seeing here. And again, I've sped up this process for you so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. And to continue, we are going to have to unlock the device. Now, as you can see, we are all finished up with the evasion tool. So you can go ahead and close out of that. We are no longer going to need this tool during the process. So once your device has booted back up, as you can see, we get this nice little evasion screen that's kind of showing uh, what it's doing in the the background to your device, but don't worry, we're almost finished up here. So now once you're back at the lock screen, just go ahead and slide to unlock your device. And then we are going to want to go over to the last page here where you will see the Cydia icon in place of that evasion icon. Now go ahead and launch Cydia. And the first thing it's going to do is prepare the file system. Now please do not touch your device during this process. It will definitely cause issues if you do. Just let this complete and once it's all finished up, you have successfully jailbroken iOS 7. Now as you can see we are taken back to the lock screen here. Slide to unlock and scroll over to the page with Cydia on it and here we can launch Cydia and select our user category. I'm just going to go ahead and select user because that is exactly what I am and as you can see Cydia will go ahead and load up and we are all set and ready to go with Cydia running on an iPhone 5s. Like I said this will work with pretty much all iOS devices across the board running iOS 7.0 four or below. Now you might have to complete an upgrade here and I highly recommend you do that. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on complete upgrade and then go ahead and tap on confirm in the top right corner here. And once you're all set up and done with that, you can go ahead and use your jailbroken iOS device. Now keep in mind, I highly recommend that you research jailbreaking before you just dive into this process, especially if you are new to it. There are several bugs involved with the jailbreak and also it's going to take a bit of time 
for tweaks to become compatible with iOS 7. But other than that, this is how you jailbreak iOS 7 on an iPhone 5S, an iPad Air, an iPad mini, iPad mini with retina display, the iPod Touch 5th generation, iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, basically anything running iOS 7.4 or below. This is how you're going to do it. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will try my best to stick around and answer those for you. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. This is Dom, and have a great day.